This is another video for my YouTube. And I just want to show you what happens when you first set up an aquarium and um, what to expect. Okay, so remember I showed you this on my last video. I showed you how to set up the, a 20 gallon aquarium. And it goes for all, that's basically how you set up all aquariums. But, um, um, except for like salt water, but for fresh water basically. Um, and, um, I got back here, I don't know if you can see, I'm trying to focus in, German Blue Rams, and I got four German, sorry about that, four German Blue Rams, and if you're wondering why my water is cloudy, okay, <clears throat> this is normal for an aquarium, when you first set it up, don't freak out, oh, my water's cloudy. I, I can't deal with this. My water's cloudy. I got to do a water change. You know, you don't. Because what happens is your water. Or sorry for the. For sorry. For the water. My. um See my German blue ram? That's a nice German blue ram. See? um The water quality. Um. Don't be alarmed about your water. Oh, it's cloudy. It's because when your water comes out the tap, um, out the faucet, it is compressed, and they have so much pressure on the water that when it comes in, when you put it into your tank, that pressure just expands, and boom, your water gets cloudy. And um, and all the chemicals that were in the water, um, they just get uncompressed, and your water so much under pressure in the tap that it just boom, your water compresses and uncompresses and you get this give it a two to three days and it should come clear um so come some come clear if it doesn't come within a uh, cl clear within two i would say three i give it three to four days if it doesn't come clear within that then i would do a water change but if you're doing it but if you're um cycling your aquarium like me i could go ahead and put these german blue rams in my aquarium because i'm not i'm um cycling my aquarium but it's going to take me like eight days just to cycle it because I've got um, a bio wheel as you can see on this aquarium that's already been established from my other aquarium and already has that bacteria established on that bio wheel and um, is eating out the the night the um, is eating out the ammonia the nitrates the nitrogens out of the water just bam eating it out of the water already so and plus they have all that dirty media if you can see in the back of that filter down in there all the dirt is and grime and good bacteria is down in that that filter that can um in that that can help get your tank going and it'll just boom make your tank go crazy um if you already and I use seasoned water from my other I used water from my other aquarium that was already um cycled so and didn't have any ammonia and stuff in it so that's 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 um how you jump start an aquarium but if you don't have that um you wouldn't be putting fish in the aquarium right away you would be letting it run like it is, like the tank is running right here, and you would just keep doing your wa um, testing your water every day and um, making sure your ammonia and stuff is going down. But this is what they call tanks, I guess, um, water change syndrome. I guess you could call it water change syndrome. Is where you do a water change and you're like, oh, my water's cloudy. Oh no, I messed something up. My tank is recycling. No, it's not. It's because the water in the tap is under such so much pressure that when you put it into your or pour it into your aquarium or take it out the tap, it ex the, it releases all them um, gases or whatever that's in the water, and you get and then, then it makes your water cloudy. It should go away within two to three days. If I would say give it, and if not, I would give it three to four days. And if it's not going away, then I would do the water change. That could mean your water or something's wrong with your aquarium. But yeah, this is all I'm showing you is my and my new German Blue Rams, hoping to breed these German Blue Rams. I got four of them in this uh, 20 gallon. And if anyone has any suggestions on breeding the German Blue Ram, please rate, subscribe, and comment to my YouTube. Thanks and bye.